Okay, now I wait. Now I wait. Hey, Babbler. Hello. How are you, mate? I'm fine, thanks, mate. <laughs> thanks, mate. Um, so I'll get this started. This is uh, this is Babbler Bukaki from Pink Fluffy Gorgeous, Hello. who just took it against three to one against Ta. Um, can let's just start out with the most basic question: How did everything go? Um, I think it did pretty well from all three matches. Last match, the loss was primarily due to me, but everything else was absolutely brilliant. Were you at all impressed on how the aliens c carefully worked around your scans? I saw you trying to scan. You were trying to go for it, but uh, they saw that. And they were trying to work their way around it. They were trying to avoid getting scanned down. Oh, yeah. I could definitely notice that they were trying to pull off some sneaky business. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should have kept the scan up on pub. I think that's why they came through. I didn't really see where. But... I mean, my main fault is not putting the second CC down. Um, how did the first two games for you guys go? I know that you won those first two. Well, yes, you won those first two games on uh, Biodome. What's what's the secret to Biodome? Because the last time I've watched multiple teams play that that map, they end up boob grabbing, as Schwa calls it, a fellow caster of mine. They grab Marines, grab Vols, continue to push Agri and Filtration, and continue to push the aliens out of the res until they eventually lose. Yeah, I mean, Vols is a really good place where you can just push all res points. Um, I mean, we've won games before without taking Vols, but it's really difficult, because the Skulks then can also get all your RTs. But, yeah, Vols is good. I liked that... Um that sneaky second obs tower you guys had in falls for that missed you know that distraction obs yeah i know that was really um, nicely done second obs is always good a backup is uh necessary sometimes had that base rush failed were you going to move those arcs into security and just arc the hive from behind oh yeah definitely most definitely yeah um i don't know second cc again we didn't have nano shield either, which didn't help, and I usually get that. Uh, I think that's about it. Are, are you happy with... Uh, how do you think Ta did, overall? Um, Marine base relocate is questionable, at times. Uh, this alien round wasn't that bad. Previous one was good for them, I think. But yeah, I'd rather it if we took all matches, to be honest. Okay. Um, is there anything else you have to say? Anything you want to add? Uh, no, not really. Awesome. I think I also have a member, Tootie, is that you? Yeah, hello. How, how are things, how are things for you guys over at Ta right now? Um, actually we are not that unhappy. Um, we know that it is really hard to play against Pink Love Gorgeous. Um, we had uh, PCW against them two days ago, actually. So we knew that um, playing against them conventionally will not help us much. So we tried a few things out today. So on, on Biodome we did the relocation because we are it's, it supports our game style. We, we are an aggressive team. Maybe we are just <laughs> not capable of playing defensively. But that supports our game style, so we did that there. Um, Actually, it is it is a pity that our that our plan on Jamby did not work out. It's not because that power node was not dropped. I just learned that this will not drop when if you if you place a CC. But um, actually, we had planned something differently, and but our commander forgot to to drop the CC there, and then our nice plan went to hell. I'm curious. But it was nice to see that. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're curious about what? Oh, no, I was curious about the base relocations. You said that you were trying to play unconventionally. Um, the base relocations are a little risky in my eyes. You know, they, they allow you some, some map control in that you're, you're centrally located, but it, on the same token, the aliens, as you know, on either team really, just allows the enemy team to expand exponentially until you can stop it. 
Yeah, it's true. Um, it's a it's a risky move, but I think um, for us to win against Pink Flavi Gorgeous, uh, we had to take some risk, because otherwise it would uh, it would be a really really hard game for us. They they have some they have some skill advantage over us. There's not opt about that, so we have to we have to do something well crazy to to get that. This is why we did it. And actually, if we I think it was. They they played it really well on on Biodome against the relocation. Somehow they kept up the assist chain and they grabbed a lot of harvesters. I think at least it seems to us like that. And they came back in in the game quite nicely. Although we did the relocation. Okay. Um. I I honestly really like the hive relocation. I think, you know, the marine relocation, it, the buildings are easily killable. But the hive relocation on the alien side is actually quite smart if you can hold that defense because that gives you two points of, of healing. Yeah, and also this gives you another spawn point which you usually do not have as aliens. Um, we can, with two gorgeous we can also shut down repairs and eggs. So they spend a lot of effort to get through and repairs, which gave us a lot of time in the, in the backyard and pipeworks, oxy and waste and bathing even to, to grab some harvesters and get the fades out. Actually what you wanted to do is um, go with the uh, gorgeous and the fades into docking bay with hallucinations on and taking out the power and then the more so but we arced our hive and pipeworks <laughs> which also fooled us back because the gorge upgrades were gone then. So that was a bit <laughs> uh, not so nice by Pink Fluffy Gorgeous but of course well played by them. So we had to we had to try a base wash anyways <laughs> with only the one hive and mucus, but it also worked, so it was nice. I was watching you do that, um, and so was so was PFG. They were keeping an eye on you. I I was actually quite impressed on how you avoided the scans. You uh, that one fade got caught by the scan, so you I kind of saw the communication, you know, body movement wise go where you were sort of communicating like, oh, I've been scanned. Okay, I'll just fly over here and go over here and make it look like I'm doing something else. And then the other two fades were just like, oh, we're just gonna hang out here and you know, didn't get scanned. Um, and then, you know, were you just trying to avoid that? Was that what you were trying to do? Yeah, this is exactly what you communicated. I saw the scan drop and I said to the other stay back. I will just go to supply lines and play it a bit stupid. You know, you never fades. I should hit RT, but if you're desperate, you might do it. So I just went in there and, and hit RT a bit, waited until the beacon went off, uh, until the um, scan went off. But when he scanned again, so we had to wait again. Uh, I think, unless there's anything else you want to add, do you, are you happy with the, how things went today? Even though you, you lost three of your games, are you happy with how Ta did? Um, personally, I am I am still happy, yeah, because we won that one game, and um, I think I think we might have got here and with our with our relocation to gravity as marine rounds because actually it wasn't supposed to be a, a relocation, but uh, yeah, we did some overcome actually. So, but I'm I'm happy with him too. See, he did well today, but uh, that one thing was a bit <laughs> was a fault by him. I think he has to take responsibility for it. But um, overall, I'm I'm quite happy. I'm happy we took one round, and uh, I'm I hope we can play Pink for Figurches again soon. Awesome. Um, I thank you both for talking with me. Uh, I think I'm done for today. Uh, this is Loopcaster to all the stream. Thank you for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. This is Loopycaster signing off. Have a good day, gentlemen. Thanks for coming.